I push students to look beyond their first solutions. I'm now into design justice, uh, anti-racist movements in the industry and decolonizing um, the educational process in the academy and the canon. I answer questions and present solutions that people don't even think to ask the question. And that's what I bring to the table with the students, which can be, it can be tough love, you know, because your first solution is not it. Or it could be, and you don't know that it's it unless you've taken it all the way through exhaustively. You've looked into that lens completely. All of my lectures and my writing assignments are designed for the scholars to find their voice. What's your cultural heritage? What's your voice? What's your history? And that's what the work is. Find your voice because you're going to be new practitioners. You're going to be new agents of imagery, new agents of scholarship, new agents of promotions and ads. And where we find is that community, the geography, the map, that's a part of the tension. All of America is no longer white default. And if you're going to be in this business, you've got to address that and accept it. And the new scholars need to know that so they can participate in it. Who are you going to be in this? What are you going to do? What's your voice? What do you see? That's your practice. That's your writing. That's your book. That's your solution. That's your promotion. That's your campaign. <laughs>